Besiji was marching amidst a human shield in a second attempt to get to Kampala when he ran into a combined force of civil and military police who had been deployed to stop him. The combined force fired into the charged crowd, dispersing them. However, in the shootout, Besiji was shot in the hand with a rubber bullet. <laughs> He was later rushed off for treatment. But the FDC leader rejected Mlago Hospital where he was first taken and chose to be taken to Kampala Hospital. Shortly before he was taken in for surgery, Bess generated his version of events as they unfolded. We met all of a sudden um, a blockade of the military police who were, you know, very many, I don't know how many they were, maybe they were about a hundred or so, uh, all, all across the road, and on the sides, and, um, and, um, and so I kept on walking towards them. And it was when I was about 10 meters from them that they started charging onto us and firing uh, all kinds of things. Uh, and just shortly after they started firing, then I was hit. Um, I suspect it was a rubber bullet. Uh, it, it, I just had sharp pain and saw this uh, ring finger, you know, falling on the side and bleeding. And uh, so I, I held it and got off the road and sat down. And. Um, then they kept on fighting with all the other people, running away, coming back. We had get him so, I so why don't you let me get medical attention now? He vowed to continue the walk to work protests. I can assure you, we are going to continue doing everything we can to make sure that our rights are respected and that we can go about our businesses without uh, the unlawful interference uh, of the police. By this evening, he was still admitted at Kampala Hospital. Julius Senkandua, NTV Tonight.